this lecture we'll talk about another theory that uh, was was raised a few years a few decades back but it's still used and still popular uh, as people talk about organizations this is McGregor's X versus Y theory yeah, McGregor's X or theory or theory X as he puts it uh, is related to Max uh, Maslow's ideas about the personal needs uh, theory X kind of focusing on the bottom layers um, the two he contrasts uh, this is McGregor contrasts two opposite views of management according to McGregor managers adopting the theories X model assume that workers generally dislike work and kind of have to be forced to do their jobs or coerced into doing their jobs this requires careful and constant supervision and a lack of trust by the managers uh, these managers believe that the following statements are true about the wor about their workers the average person naturally dislikes work and will avoid it when possible most workers must be coerced controlled directed or threatened with punishment to get them to work towards an achievement of the organization's objectives and the average worker prefers to be directed to and avoids responsibility and that the average worker has relatively little ambition and really just wants their paycheck they want security for their job the theory X style of management focuses on the physiological and security needs that Maslow talked about the hygiene needs um, and that these are the, what they argue is motivates work and it virtually ignores the higher level needs uh, self-actualization and the like that um, self-esteem that that um, are described by Maslow's theory by contrast the uh, McGregor's theory why takes into account a more intrinsically motivated workforce um, the theory X view that we talked about before doesn't really take into account the needs for companionship and esteem and personal growth that a work environment a positive work environment can provide Theory Y, in contrast, views management uh, as a way where you actualize these things for for uh, for their workforce. Theory uh, Y managers assume that workers like to work and that under the proper conditions they'll seek out additional responsibility and attempt to satisfy their social needs and their need for self-esteem and self-actualization. Obviously, managers subscribing to the theory why philosophy have a management style that's very different from managers subscribing to the theory X philosophy theory Y managers maintain less control and supervision and do not use fear as the primary motivator they are more democratic in their decision making they allow subordinates to participate more in the process theory Y managers address the low level the high level needs in Maslow's hierarchy as well as the physiological or the safety needs let's dig a little deeper into this theory why um, the theory why assumptions McGregor describes the assumptions that are behind a manager who takes the theory why approach number one there's the expenditure of physical and mental effort in work is natural and it's natural as it is to play or to rest or whatever you do things in life and you want to do things successfully number two people will exercise self-direction and self-control to achieve their to achieve the objectives to which they're committed uh, third that employees will commit to objectives when they realize that the achievement of those objectives will bring them personal rewards also that the average person will accept responsibility and even seek responsibility so that they could feel this sense of self-worth that it comes from doing work that's valuable also number five they assume that imagination ingenuity and creativity in the in an individual can help solve the problems the organization faces but most organizations don't usually take advantage of these characteristics um, organizations today don't really make use of an individual workers intellectual potential that's basically what 
these kinds of theory why make managers believe is that it's as a manager part of your job is to make use of all the intellectual energy and creativity of the workforce to make the the work better and to make the outcomes of the organization even better so that's mcgregor's um theory x and theory y uh, uh, idea and you still you hear that a lot in the in the workforce it, it's easy to sort of classify leaders in that context but we'll talk about where uh, another direction that this kind of thinking has gone in a minute with this thing called theory z and that'll be the next lecture